As Texas Tech, Texas A&M, and Kentucky all prepare for Sweet 16 games this week, a man who once led each of those programs watches from Ranger, Texas, a small town of 2,500. No longer in the big time, Billy Gillespie wishes each of his former programs well, but right now, Gillespie has bigger worries than just basketball. I don't know what to think. I, I can only basically thank God for somebody having and I'm about to start crying. It's not often that Billy Gillespie has trouble finding the words, but he's emotional as he tries to thank a woman he's never met. Erica Downey of Tahlequah, Oklahoma, a woman who's willing to donate a kidney to Gillespie to save his life. She learned about Gillespie's situation a few months ago on Twitter. It was immediate. It was just like, oh, you need to do something. Um, but it was more like, you need to try. But in the meantime, it also hit me that I could just be an advocate as well. So it was a, a mix between just trying to help um, to find somebody to step up, but then I also had that pull to say, okay, maybe it's you. Billy Gillespie and Erica Downey don't know one another, but there's a connection. It's basketball. Downey's husband, Mark, is coach at Northeastern State in Tahlequah. He and Gillespie have crossed paths on the recruiting trail, and what a trail it's been for Billy Clyde Gillespie. A decade ago, after rebuilding A&M and taking the Kentucky job, he was one of college coaching's hottest commodities. But the run didn't last. And now, for the past three years, he's been here, working in a 500-seat gymnasium at Tiny Ranger College, two-year school where sheep graze just across the street from Gillespie's office. Billy G played here 40 years ago under the coach for whom the gym is now named. I love this gym. I know this will be a small deal for most, but we're excited about we're, get, we're air conditioning this gym. It has not ever been air conditioning. And uh, starting uh, April the 20th, they're going to put air conditioning in the gym. Gillespie has built programs and burned bridges along the way. He's still as defiant as ever, although he admits he has made mistakes. Hey, I got a DUI, uh, but that wasn't who it was. It was something that I did. And hey, I, I'm not afraid to talk about it or anything like that. Uh, sometimes you get judged wrongly. Uh, because hey, if you get a DWI, that doesn't mean you have a problem with drinking. But Gillespie does have another problem. In the past two seasons at Ranger, he's been forced to miss several games because of a health issue caused by lifelong high blood pressure. And then in recent months, he learned he'll need a kidney transplant. For somebody that doesn't even know me, that I've never talked to, uh, to, to want to try to sacrifice in that way for someone like myself, uh, it's, it's just mind-boggling to me uh, that someone would be so kind and so uh, it's just like an angel. I think there's been some negative stories out there about him but just to see truly who he is and his just his humbleness it, it was really cool to really find out that everything you read is not always true and that underneath all that there still is a, a a person who deserves life again it makes me want to tear up i did i've known her her husband for a long time but i knew her husband before they were married and so i saw him at a at an event and i said your wife must be crazy and uh, for want to do this and he said well that's where she's been led to believe this is what she should do at this point Erica already knows she is a kidney match for Gillespie. She'll go to Mayo Clinic for more tests this weekend. She will meet Billy at the Final Four next week in San Antonio. And it's quite possible the transplant could take place later this spring.